got that full screen for you all so you can see FSD and how it acts in real time. Now I'm trying to bring it all to you all. I'm not giving you guys cut up videos or anything like that. My goal is to show you all actual FSD in everyday real life settings. Um, there's no simulations going down. There's no uh, closed off course or any kind of like variables that you know are not real. This is real what I'm giving you. So yeah, enjoy while it lasts because <laughs> we don't know, you know, as, as long as this is in beta version, you know, hopefully it makes it out. Elon Musk keeps tweeting, you know, that by the end of this year, if you bought beta or whatever, you're going to have it on your car. But even right now, like if you have the access to the safety score, I would assume because you know there's a wide release coming for 10.69 that if your safety score is up to par you should be good um, and granted access so FYI okay that wasn't great so I got this big cement truck in front of me and it looks like everyone just wants to get around it but since I'm at a stop you know it's not gonna change lanes because there's nowhere to go but now that we're moving I can get around this cement truck appreciate you guys joining me today on the video um, so my goal is to be bringing you all 5k content so from here on out most of my videos will be in 5k I'm trying to treat you all to the best FSD content uh, keep in mind I'm still working out as far as the angles go and um, you know so for the next couple videos you know bear with me we're gonna get that perfect for you all you know I gotta go back and watch it so one thing about FSD is that you, five strikes and you're out so how you get a strike um, you on your phone <laughs> basically anything you know that keeps your eyes away like that um, some handheld device which means that I can't really see the camera while it's recording you know I just have to hit record and trust that it's recording because you know with FSD on your hands has to be free and ready to take over at any second so safety first always I don't want to promote anything else because I don't think anything else is the right way so we're gonna be hopping on a highway here in a few minutes um, and we'll see how the car acts from everyday roads like what we're on now compared to how it acts on the highway. And with that being said, I think it acts better on everyday city and street roads, I guess you can call it, or you know, non-highways, basically anything that's not a highway. Um, because yes, it acts great on the highway, but gaining FSD doesn't change any of that. I mean, if you are driving on the highway all day long, like your commute is 99% highway, then you may not need FSD. Oh, see, here we go, first takeover don't have enough space to merge and the guy was not slowing down so I had to take over so we're getting on the highway now so I'm gonna let you all see the uh, on-ramp so you can see immediately how it oh no it hasn't changed yet but when I get on 66 it will change and I, I gotta say as far as the on-ramp and off-ramp that's like one of the things I have most confidence in. It, it 
handles those really well. Um, I haven't seen one where it's really messed up on that, getting on and off the highway. So here we go. Oh, we got a little meter ramp. Take an extra second for us to get on. Again, I appreciate you guys joining me today. Please hit that like button if you haven't already. Hit that subscribe. I will be bringing you all 5K content on FSD video so definitely hit that subscribe button and I'll be trying to upload daily alright you saw that I had to take over there so we have this emergency light that only operates during certain hours and FSD just didn't even catch that so look how it's gonna switch now from when I get on the highway There it goes. So, you know, all Teslas have autopilot, and if you upgrade, you'll get navigate on autopilot. So that's autopilot here. But if I were to put in the address on where I'm going, then what it does is acts a little bit more like FSD, but on the highway. I mean, I have to say, like, if I want to make this video about anything, we should make it about autopilot and how great it is. I mean, this is what comes out the box. Like, so if you decide to not upgrade to FSD, you get autopilot. Every Tesla has autopilot and traffic aware cruise control, which seriously, I use every single day. Um, their everyday autopilot only gets better I mean there's nothing wrong with it other than I, I would say maybe it asks for a little bit more input um, it's not the best at slowing down when it comes to like like say the speed limit is 55 but on a sharp turn you know it suggests for you to go like 45 or 35 FSD finally slows down for that now autopilot however you have to scroll the wheel down when those situations happen meaning you got to be comfortable with the roads you're driving on you need to know you know those certain areas where you need to speed up or slow down so that's one thing that's not great about autopilot um and the way it acts on the highway is, a, is one way, and then when you see it on city streets, then it's like, you might as well just drive it manually. It just gets kind of like, there's a lot of input it asks for. 